guys. Uh, finally got like an early day today from work and uh, I figured I would start this video today with uh, what's going on with this reef tank. Um, well, this tank. Um, fish room build, we're gonna go visit that here next. But uh, I'm pretty sure some of y'all are getting curious about what's actually going on with my display tank. Um, it's doing very well. Um, I got the T5s back on it again, and uh, I will be doing a video here very shortly. Um, it'll be up Wednesday about uh, my experiences with the uh, T5 and the LEDs and uh, why I did what I did when I switched them back and whatnot. So let's take a look at this tank real quick so I can hopefully keep this update somewhat short. Um, I was running for quite a while, almost six months, longer than six months. Um, probably close to almost a year. I was running um, some Ecotech or Vortec MP40s and you're gonna see here that those are gone. Um, I was completely dissatisfied with those pumps. Um, one, noisy as shit. Two, the, the flow coverage for a tank my size with the, the 34, 36 inch depth uh, front to back didn't cut it and I started getting some ill effects from that um, algae growth, um, corals that needed the flow, like my, uh, my toadstool, um, really, really got affected. So I'm back to all JVO pumps except for one MP10 that's covering the back of the tank. Um, I just turned the lights on right now. I just got home and wanted to make a video. So the uh, Euphelia garden isn't all opened up and whatnot. So let's take a look at what's going on. Um, Really, I don't, I don't even know really what to update on because nothing's changed. I've been just kind of leaving this tank alone, letting it go on autopilot, and uh, just letting things do what they do. Um, things are growing like weeds. Uh, everything is growing into everything. Um, you know, this is a perfect example here. The, the acro growing into that poslapora and the acro is losing the battle right now. Um, but everything is just, I mean, it's growing like a damn weed. Everything's doing great. Um, I have no complaints. The only the only thing here, I'll, I'll keep keep a shot here, and then I'll start talking. So enjoy the coral views here. There's just stuff growing everywhere right now. There's there's corals growing that I didn't even know there was corals in a place. Like you know, a frag broke off, and then uh, it just started growing. And you can see here, I'm, I'm, I'm battling with this toadstool now, um, and that's because of the flow issue. Um, it, had, it got algae, ended up growing all over it, and trust me guys, I picked a lot of the algae off of this thing, but you can see now I have flow. Um, you can see that algae really going, and this, this whole back side of this poor thing was just mudded up with, with freaking algae, so yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Moving, moving. Anyways, uh, yeah, everything's doing well. Um, I, I don't have any complaints. Um, the tank is, is so beautiful to look at. Um, and I can't wait to get the new display um, in the fish room going. But yeah, here's the Euphelia garden. This stuff has been growing so, so well. I remember I used to have a really hard time um, getting Euphelia to grow. And they, these just grow like weeds now. I mean, it's crazy. I'm looking at it like, wow, there never used to be heads there. But, um, yeah, it's doing really good, guys. So, um, this is pretty much all I have to really show is just, here it is. I mean, that's all there is to it. Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see any top-down stuff. Probably not because of the T5, so I'll keep this view kind of short. You can pause it if you want. Um, sump is still, you know, the same stuff. I got the uh, ASMG3 skimmer with the upgraded Tunzi um, hydrofoamer. I'm running carbon in that reactor. I think I'm going to start putting GFO back on the tank. The refugium is like, whoa, there's so much algae in there now. Again, I got to prune it again. It, it's like every month I get um, about a five-gallon a five gallon bucket and then another half of a five-gallon bucket of algae out of there and I'm still left with a ton of algae. Um, I can't give the stuff away quick enough. So that's doing really well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing also a video. I've been getting a lot of requests um, from different people that wanna know how the uh, JBO dosing pump has been working for me. And uh, that's, 
that video is going to be coming out. I did add a third element to dose finally. I was only doing calcium and alkalinity, and I am now doing acro power. Um, this stuff has been phenomenal, a phenomenal add to the tank. Um, pretty soon I'm going to pick back up on my uh, Red Sea Coral Colors program and, uh, you know, put that on a doser. I got another one of these JVO dosers ready to go. But uh, yeah, this is uh, here's the tank, guys. Um, I don't I don't really know what to say. It's it's a tank. Here it is. Woohoo! My uh, forest fire digitata is pissed off again because I had to frag it because it was growing into that green slimer. And if you guys look back on some of my older videos when I first set the tank up with most of these corals, they were frags, like little itty bitty frags. And I am so blown away and so satisfied as a hobbyist of how this tank has come out. But it's time that um, I start cutting corals off of rocks because they're growing into each other, they're killing each other. And uh, the new layout of the new display tank is going to allow me to have better spacing between the corals. That way they can grow together more full and uh, not kill each other when they're just little baby colonies. So uh, yeah, here it is guys, I hope you enjoyed the update of the tank and uh, we'll see you in the fish room for part two of this weekend.